Respect, my 18 year love, respect for your street preacher, sound to the genuine ones only. Hey, how you doing? Hello? What's going on? You know, love is real. Love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuinely for you. You know, you can never listen to a third party conversation about somebody that you're trying to get in tune with because people are haters and people don't want to see somebody elevate and becoming their best self vision, especially when it comes to that love department. Because you know, when a person's heart's been broken multiple times by somebody in their past or whatever the case may be, they don't want to see the next person genuinely happy. No, they will fake gaslight and they act like they're so in tune with that person. Like they, you know, they want to see people happy and all that, but they really don't. <laughs> so be careful when asking people about somebody else at the end of the day, because their intentions don't be good. You'd be better off going to the, the person that you genuinely want to be in tune with to see what's up. Like, yo, what up? Let me see what's up with you. You know, not unless you got actual proof of proof. You feel me? Like, if they a predator or something like that, and you got actual black and white to see it, you know what I mean? Like, nah. But for a hater to come in between something that God created for you two to elevate and become your best self, business of yourself, to be that power couple, don't let nobody get interrupt that. Because God created that, that, that relationship for a reason, and God created that bond. For you to understand the love language within a love language of you two uniting with each other for a reason. Because you're sitting there, you'll be sitting there, you'll be missing out on your own blessing. Listen to somebody else that's a hate in disguise. Like, for real. People don't want to see somebody happy. Like, you know, and especially all depends. Like, at the end of the day, that's like saying this, right? You mind your business with the mind of your business. You crush it on somebody. But you really want to get their attention. But you want to see what they got going on or whatever the case may be. Like, who they talk to. Like, you're not trying to, like, be all thirsty. You know, that's not about being thirsty. But at the same time, too, if you like what you see, you see what you're feeling, you see what you see, and you're in tune with it, check it out to see what it is up close in person. <laughs> it's the thought process for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not go to a hater. Because <laughs> all they're going to do is psych you out your thought process, let alone the love of your life. No, nah, for real. You, you be walking off to somebody else. And you miserable. Ah. <laughs> and the person that you were supposed to be looking at or whatever, trying to be in tune with, come to find out, they were supposed to be in the love of your life. Because they so happy with somebody else. Value somebody else's time. And you figuring out, wait, hold on. So you mean to tell me that this person was genuine and loyal this whole entire time? And respectful? And they know how to be somebody's peace? Oh! What was I thinking? That part for me. <laughs> you know... When God created certain relationships to actually unite with each other for a reason, it's for a reason. Like, people don't just come in contact with people for just no reason. It's a bond within a bond that only two people can actually understand when it comes to love language. Nobody else in the world would be able to understand their love language besides these two people that God created them to be together. You know, because it's like, when you're sad, you're down, you're up, you're down. Good day, bad day, misunderstanding day. Like, y'all feel each other. Like, it's, it's, y'all don't even have to be around each other to feel y'all emotions. It's just so natural. Like, one could be sick. The other one's starting to get sick. I don't know it. Like, it's just, a, a, it's so weird. Like, one is crying. The other one is feeling the emotion of someone's crying. They feeling the person's pain. Like, I need to cry, too, because I need, I need you. I need to hold you so you know it's going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, respectfully. When God created a bond for two people to unite together, it's for a purpose. You know, it's a love language that nobody would be able to break. Nobody. No no hater in this world. Nobody. The only one that can destroy the relationship is God. So be mindful when one to talk to somebody and be mindful because not everybody is deserving your time. No, they're not. But be mindful when trying to talk to somebody and ask a third party conversations about somebody that they genuinely don't even know. <laughs> it's that part for me. Like, people really don't be knowing people at the end of the day. And they just be putting a little two cents into something that they don't even know what they're talking about. Because they don't want to see you happy. So you got to be mindful at the end of the day. Who's a hater that's, in your, that's standing in your lane and that's not trying to see you genuinely happy? Because... When you reevaluate your thought process and say to yourself, like, wow, that person was just jealous. Like, that person was a hater. Like, wow. All that for what? Like, people would just sit there and play you close at the end of the day and try to act like they're so in tune with you in the whole entire time. They don't want to see you happy at the end of the day. They don't. 
And at the end of the day, that's why you gotta protect your energy because not everybody's gonna get time. But everybody is deserving of true love. Like, everybody's deserving of true, true, genuine, happy love. Happy love. Love you. It's all I wanna do. Cause I see you, you, you. All I see is you, you, you. Hey! All I see is you. <laughs> you know, when God creates a certain bond for two people to unite with each other, it's for them to become each other's peace and equal in a healthy way, not in a toxic behavior way. Like, you know, when you have God in tune within you, and like I said, this page ain't for everybody, like, but when you have God in tune with you, and God will move and close certain doors in your life for a reason when it came to toxic behavior and toxic people in your life, and God places a real one in your life for a reason without wearing a mask, a second to throw parts on your freedom or your eyesight, or your pockets, because you can't buy true love. You cannot, it's, it would never make sense. You can never, because it, 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 it don't bring no value to the relationship. It don't. It don't. Especially when you're not even in tune with the person. You're just there for their money. It sounds like a lot one side if you ask me. But anyway, but being someone's peace and being someone's balance in a healthy way and when the world's against you, and you just want that one person to confide and they just understand you like y'all have your own personal love language that y'all in tune with each other to respect each other, to value each other's time, to honor each other, to like, yo, God created this bond for a reason. It was something so special within you that God allowed you to see something so special within a person that God directed you to. And for you to wake up one day and say, you know what, I need to get myself together. What I thought I was chasing at the end of the day, it wasn't for me. Or what I was attracting at the end of the day, it wasn't for me. Until I came across this one particular person. To know at the end of the day that love is real and love is one of a kind. And all the character traits that you was asking for, you finally found it in that one person. And when that person arrives to value your time, to honor you, respect you, and be your peace in a healthy way, that energy had different. Because love is real, love is one of a kind with the right one that's genuinely for you. You know, and with God's protection for every direction, that relationship will elevate to this biggest capacity. Like, it would, it would, power couple, power couple, a real power couple. You know, and you don't got to wear a mask to fake it to nobody because it's real and it's genuine. Like, you're not going to be one of those couples to fake it, gaslight people at the end of the day just for clout or just for show views and likes and stuff. Nah. This relationship is personal. This is one of a kind. This is real different. You know when your dreams become your reality? You reevaluate your thought process, say to yourself, is thank God. Thank you, God, for being patient with me. Thank you, God, for allowing me to see that I could believe in love again. I thought I was believing in love with other people, but that wasn't love. That was lust. You allowed me to believe in love because the love of my life just came into my life at the right time when I least expected. Now y'all tuned into each other. Being patient with each other, learning each other, understanding their definition that you are worthy, you matter, good day, bad day, misunderstanding day, I'll be your peace and your balance in a healthy way. That's how to behave, don't live here today. Without wearing a mask, don't have a hand problem, I'm here to respect you, cherish you, in a healthy way, not in a toxic controlling way. It's the mindset for me. When someone's really in tune with you and it's not one sided, that energy hit different. You know why I was created, though? God allows you to believe. God allows you to be a more. God allows you to be a believer. With God's protection, every direction, God guides you to your true love. With time comes change, and with change comes show patience. With time comes change, comes change comes growth, and with growth comes with growth comes true self awareness. With time comes change, and change comes growth, and true growth comes true self awareness. Because today, now you're self-aware within yourself to know at the end of the day what your, what, what your value really is. You ain't know one time, but now you know today. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe week and protect your energy. Now you're genuine love. Respect. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection for every direction. Protect your energy because now you're raising your time. Respect. Hey.